I, I'm, I'm actually all, uh, I'm actually a relative, believe it or not, too. I never really met Pastor before he called me here. I met him once at a Rogers reunion. Maybe I should have stayed away. No, I, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, before we give you this, as we give you this tribute, I want to say two nice things about Pastor and two nice things about Carol. And we'll start with Pastor. One thing I said to him at a board retreat once is the thing that I appreciate about him is that he takes time with my children. And he's not too busy. And uh, he'll always uh, come up to Josiah and say, you give me a hug. You're going to give me a hug. He just like, ah, and he runs away and they chase each other. And so I really appreciate that he cares for my kids and that he, he cares for children in the church in general, but I appreciate that he cares for kids. And uh, the second thing is his heart is a worshiper. Now, you may say that we have worship wars, but we've never had, we may talk about songs, but um, pastor's a worshiper no matter what. It doesn't matter what song. It could be the oldest song in the entire world or the brand new song right off the mail. Pastor's a worshiper and he wants to worship God, and I appreciate that about you. And about Carol, if you, if you haven't noticed her musical gift in the last uh, nine and a half years, then you're blind. Um, <laughs> she has a beautiful gift of music on the piano and the organ, and uh, she's so gifted. <laughs> and I will miss that because I like to play with people who are better than me. I always say this to the youth all the time. I love to play with people who are better than me because it helps me to become a better person, a better musician. As a musician, I feel that way. And the second thing is that her heart is about 100 times bigger than her body. Um, and if you've known Carol, and you've ever been sick, has anybody ever been sick here at, at once in, in nine and a half years in the church? You will have gotten a card or a letter or a visit from her and Pastor Don, and she has got a heart that is huge. She looks after this wide network that all of you are going to have to take over now. Um, but a huge heart and making sure that all the little things get done and a uh, huge encouragement to pastor he's he's a he's a they always say the uh, a, a good man has a better wife behind him and, and i believe that about you carol too and i don't say that just because it's in the open <laughs> and uh we didn't need that <laughs> These are for Pastor, and these are from our staff, actually, that we've appreciated him, um, Paula, and myself, and Pastor Jamie. Uh, we've appreciated working with him all these years, and we want him to have these, and he can open these right now so you can see. You don't need the card. I'm not, you don't need the card. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> Pastor, come right over here. Come right over here. Right over here. Because you have to you have to read what's on the inscription. I'm gonna show that side last over there. We don't need to show Jerry, that's okay. It says Don Rogers, write it down from the staff. Because because when I give staff instructions, I usually say sooner or later, busy people learn to write things down. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful little uh, a pen that goes clock and a, a pen that goes in there. And now we'll show this site. Thank you. And that is that is true. You'll be sitting in staff meeting and you'll you'll say, uh, you should write that down. You need to write that down. It will be like, oh yeah, because <laughs> sooner or later, busy people learn to write things down. We'll, uh, we'll get you some more, Pastor. Don't worry. <laughs> and we hope that uh, reminds you to soar. I can soar like eagles. Because <laughs> 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 well, you, you said, said it. it. <laughs> 